Before we can look at selecting a shade, let's take a look at shade guides. The Vita Classical Guide has been around since the 1950s. Most composite shades are designed to line up with this system. The A to D arrangement distributes tabs into four groups based on hue. A is red, B is yellow, C is gray, and D is reddish gray. Within each hue group, chroma increases with an increase in the tab number. So for example, B4 is more saturated than B1. B4 has a higher chroma than B1. You may have noticed that there is no D1. The D shades begin with D2. Also, there is an A3.5, since many patients fall between A3 and A4. Now, shade selection begins by selecting the hue family, A, B, C, or D. In this case, let's say we know that it's A. From there, we choose the tab with the chroma or saturation that best fits the tooth we are restoring. You should expect most of your patients to fall into the A chroma family. The two most purchased shades of composites are A2 and A3, probably followed by A1 for young patients or patients who have bleached. The tabs can be reorganized into the value scale arrangement as you see here. This displays the tabs from lightest, B1, to darkest, C4. Shade is chosen by selecting the best overall match. The value scale is frequently used for visually monitoring tooth whitening. This is not perfect since there are four different hues, but this arrangement can be helpful to a certain extent. As you read in the textbook, Shade guides are a starting point for selecting a composite shade, but ultimately the best method for selecting a composite shade involves placing some unbonded composite on the tooth and light curing it.